This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. Now there are those people that believe that using these things too much is bad for our health. No, not that kind of danger. I'm talking about the qualified scientists that believe that the radiation emitted from our smartphones is causing premature death. A group of 200 biological and health scientists from around the world are trying to make this concern public knowledge, and they're calling on the UN to help them out. In a report published by Russian news organization RT, these scientists from all different parts of the world are advocating for the United Nations, World Health Organization, and various national governments to help develop strict regulations concerning cell phones and other mobile devices that create electromagnetic fields. Dr. Martin Blank from the Department of Physiology and Cellular Biophysics at Columbia University warns, Putting it bluntly, cell phones are damaging the living cells in our bodies and killing many of us prematurely. We have created something that is harming us, and it's getting out of control. Before Edison's light bulb, there was very little electromagnetic radiation in our environment. The levels today are very many times higher than natural background levels, and are growing rapidly because of all the new devices that emit this radiation. Now before we move on, let's talk about electromagnetic radiation. For starters, your cell phone does produce a certain amount of radiation. You can thank your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, and LTE connections for all that. But radiation can be found in all other aspects of our lives as well. Radios, televisions, microwaves, and more. The real factor here we need to look at is the difference between ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, and how the two types affect us differently. You see, radiation that produces enough energy to move around atoms in a molecule, but not enough to remove electrons completely, is known as non-ionizing radiation. Examples of non-ionizing radiation include microwaves, sound waves, and even visible light, just to name a few. In contrast, however, ionizing radiation does have enough energy to move around tightly bound electrons from atoms, which in turn creates ions. This much more powerful form of radiation encompasses ultraviolet, x-rays, and yes, even gamma rays. So what about our smartphones? Well, our smartphones produce non-ionizing radiation, but at an extremely low frequency level. All the connections going to and from your mobile device all operate at different frequencies. Whether a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or a cellular connection, frequencies can range from 700 megahertz up to 5.9 gigahertz. Now the thing is, even with all these connections combined, they do not even come close to the same radio frequencies found in X-rays and ultraviolet rays. In fact, the only effects that these types of radio frequencies have on the human body don't have anything to do with cancer or tumors, but it has everything to do with how hot your smartphone gets. An increased amount of radio frequency energy from smartphones can actually cause some harm to your body by means of tissue heating, but this doesn't take place as often as you might think. Most of the energy produced by frequencies from mobile phones is absorbed by the skin and other superficial tissues, which results in a negligible rise in the temperature in the brain and throughout other portions of the body. So now, is that a cause for concern? Well, the WHO doesn't think so. To date, research does not suggest any consistent evidence of adverse health effects from exposure to radio frequency fields at levels below those that cause tissue heating. Further, research has not been able to provide support for a casual relationship between exposure to electromagnetic fields and self-reported symptoms, or, quote, electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Now let's be clear, there may be problems with tissue heating, but below that, the World Health Organization makes very clear that they see no evidence for short-term health effects. But what about the long-term health effects? Well, therein lies the problem. We have not had widespread cell phone use until the last few years. Now some of you are thinking, Jace, we've had cell phones since the late 80s. Yes, but we've not had widespread use like we do today. Everyone and their mother, quite literally, has a cell phone nowadays. So it will take some time before we can get comprehensive research on the long-term effects of these devices. Now, far be it from me or anyone at Android Authority to question the credibility of these scientists, I am not qualified to do so, but I do have to ask a simple question. It could be interpreted that they are putting the cell phone as the primary culprit of this more damaging radiation. And the science, as it currently stands, does not support that. So, why would they bring that up? Well, if you're talking about x-rays, something that people only periodically interact with, you don't get much attention. But if you say their cell phone is harming them, you get everyone's attention. 
Now, I really encourage you to read the article that today's show is based on by our own Android Authority staffer, Jimmy Westenberg. He did a great job. He did lots of research. Thank you for all the help, Jimmy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So if the Android Army would be willing to help me out, I'd be grateful. You can go to my website, undividedcompany.com. That's what I do when I'm not doing videos like this. This site is new, it doesn't have enough content yet, but I wanna hear what you think. I worked really hard at trying to find the right name and making sure that I could get the .com because the .com matters. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. So I noticed that some of you noticed that in yesterday's show, I went from pale to looking like Rudolph. And that's because I shot the first part before I went fishing and the last part after I went fishing, hence the little bit of sunburn. Well, maybe a lot of sunburn. You can see the difference here from when my shirt ended. It stung, it hurt, but it was okay. It was all worth it because I cut a nice big pike, brought it home and uh, fed my family with it. It's great stuff. If you got pics of fish that you've caught, love to see them in the comments below or on Google+. Plus. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, always working hard to be your source for all things Android. I shall see you later on this week on Android Q&A.